I'm Shay with LRE. Uh, I've been a design specialist with LRE for the last 10 years doing commercial and residential. Today we've been called out to inspect the crawl space and wooden uh, members of this home that was flooded in St. Pete Beach uh, due to Hurricane Helene and Milton. So here on the exterior of the house, the things that we're looking for after a flood like this, we look for uh, exterior water lines so we can see, you know, the average height of that water. Uh, and then we look for other things that might not be related to the home, such as the seam on the chimney, where that flood water has likely softened up soils and caused it to pull away from the home a little bit, all the way up the side here. So here we're looking at a house in um, Pinellas County that was flooded by the last two hurricanes. Um, we were called out here, customers worried about the crawl space condition. After the flood waters, you can see we're 12, 11 and a half or 12 inches inside the home. So everything in here has been submerged in the water, including her original floors. Um, we'll be doing an interior inspection and then going underneath the home to look at the condition of the framing and make sure that that is up to par. So here, one of the things that we look for when we're trying to determine if we can dehumidify these floors the, from the moisture coming from the crawl space is the amount of cupping that's happening. The cupping is where the floor's um, edges squeeze together from moisture absorption and push upwards. Um, sometimes a little hard to see, but with the right light or a good level, you can usually see the, the gaps in between it. So another thing that we check for when evaluating these homes um, anytime, but even after a flood, is the plumbness of the walls. We're looking to make sure that they're not leaning, tilting, anything like that. So we like to check main areas, load bearing walls um, to see how close they are to vertical. These check out 89.8 degrees out of 90. So one of the other steps that we do when evaluating these um, foundations is check for levelness across the whole thing. Not only are we checking the walls, checking the flooring system to see if there's any um, evidence of it dipping or lifting or anything like that. We use a tool called a zip level here and we give it a zero spot by the front door. And then every location that we place the head unit, it'll tell us plus or minus in inches um, from that point to give us a trend on the floor. All right, so after this crawl space here, tight fit, um, I've determined that all the wood framing and structural aspects of the home are in good condition. The only thing that it's going to need is a mold treat from the floodwaters, sealing the wood, and potentially encapsulate it to get the humidity out and try to dry out those floors.